Welcome to XFX Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we're going to go through how to set up one of the quick controls to get instant volume change on your preset. Hi, I'm Max Hayes from the band Psychedelic. This week, I'm going to show you an easy way to adjust the volume on your preset so that you can easily adjust the different presets to match each other. You might have experienced the problem that your preset sounds okay at home in volume, but when you go to rehearsal, then some of them are higher or lower in volume, especially if you run different amp and cab models. As you might know from before, the right way to set up the overall volume on a preset is with the level control on your amp block. The level control should be set so that you won't get any nasty clipping on your preset. We will start by opening Axe Edit and choose the amp block. We will right click over the level control. I want to use the quick control D for this so I will choose manual D as my source. Now the volume of your presets will go down to zero and you will not be able to hear anything anymore. But we're going to change that in a second. Now you can pause the Axe Edit and we're going to hit the control button on the Axe FX unit. If you're in any other tab than manual, you'll have to scroll to that menu. It's from here that we do the volume adjustment. So to be able to do this on your preset, you always have to hit the control button first. But this is still a faster way than going all the way into your amp block every time you want to adjust your volume. So now when we're turning up the value on the quick control D, you can hear that the sound is coming back again. Just adjust the volume roughly to something that it was before and save the preset. Now you can choose another preset and compare that preset level. Then go back to your first preset and hit the control button and turn the quick control D to adjust it again. As you can see the value that you stored for the quick control D is saved with the preset. You can of course use this method to change any other adjustments in the axe effects but this is the one that I have encountered before. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have any questions or comments to this video just let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my weekly Axe FX tips and tricks video. Please check out our other channels on the internet that are listed in the description below and as always folks use it for good not for evil.